This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Back to Black by Amy Winehouse, okay? I'll be teaching you how to play that awesome piano instrumental, so once you learn this, you can pretty much play and sing this song. To give you a preview before we start learning it, it's a loop that goes like this, check it out. etc but anyway so let's go ahead and learn it right now so here we go so let's break it up to parts it's easy to learn okay it's pretty awesome stuff very catchy instrumental all right so we'll break it up into four parts first part goes like this uh the first part okay the right hand is all d minor triad which is d f a up here so middle c open octave c is a d f a up here all right so this is played for eight times so you go one two three four five six seven eight so eight of that right hand pretty simple stuff now the left hand goes like this the main difficulty is getting the left hand because the left hand is this awesome bass uh like pattern throughout the whole lesson it's like uh syncopated rhythm okay okay the right hand is all in the like crotch beat which is very easy but the left hand is all syncopated rhythms which might be pretty difficult if you're just starting to learn the piano okay so here we go so what you want to do is play d octaves so if you can't play octaves play single the like the lower notes okay anyway so it goes d octave for five times two three four five and then up to the d c and then down to the lower d that's it for the first part. One more time, so it goes D octave for five times. So one, two, three, four, five. And then the higher D, C, and then lower D. Yeah, two hands together goes like this. I'll play it slowly so you know where to put the notes together. So it goes together, left, together, right, left, together, right, left, right, left, right, left, like that. Just like that. Let's do it again. It goes together, right, left, together, right, left, together, right, left, together, uh, right hand, and then left, right, left, like that. At the end, it's like alternating, like that. So. Like that, okay? So, yeah. That's it for the first part. Moving on to the second part, right hand continues. This is the second inversion of G minor, which is D, G, B flat for eight times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so each of the part, the right hand's pretty simple. It's just a triad chord played for eight times. All right, so that with that in mind. Left hand is what we have. Now we have G octave for three times. And then lower G, octave above G. And then G octave. A flat octave, A octave. That's it. One more time. So it's G octave for three times. Lower G octave above G, and then G octave, A flat octave, A octave. All right. Turns together goes like this. So slowly goes together, right, left, together, right, left, together, right, left, right, left, right, left. Like that. Once again, the last bit is like alternating. And one more time, it goes like this. It goes together, right, left, together, right, left, together, right, left, right, left, right, left. That's that. Okay, so that's the second part. So back to back, the two parts of learned so far, we play like this, I'll play it slowly, so. So that's two parts so far. Third part moving on goes like this. Right hand goes this first inversion of B flat major, which is D, F, B flat. For eight times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So easy right hand once again. 
Left hand is what we have. We've got B flat octave, and then the higher B flat, octave below B flat, then B flat octave for two times, and then the higher B flat again, down to F up to B flat. That's it for the left hand. Let's run it again. Let's go to B flat octave, higher B flat octave below B flat, B flat octave, and then B flat octave again, and then higher B flat again, and then F B flat. Just like that. Turn together goes like this slowly, goes together. Right, left, together, right, left, together, right, left, right, left, right, left. But once again, it's like the same pattern as the uh, first two parts. So that's a pretty good thing to know about. It's kind of like using the same pattern as the first two parts. Just remember that. So it goes. Like that. All right. So yeah, back to back. The three parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Check it out. Oops, let's try again. So it goes. All right. So yeah. So sometimes the octave, like uh, the alternate between the lower octave and high octave or the left hand can be a bit confusing. So remember to remember those left hand patterns. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Let's move on to the fourth and last part. So right hand goes this first version of A major, which is C sharp E A for eight times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so remember that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Left hand, this is what we have. We have A octave, and then the high A, low A, and then A octave again, and then A, C, C sharp. Okay, and this left hand is just a little bit tiny bit different compared to the other ones. It goes A octave. High A, low A, and then you take a break, and it goes A octave, A, C, C sharp. Okay? Yeah, it's so different to the other part patterns just by one note. Okay? Turn together, goes like this, goes together, right, left, together, right, together, right, left, right, left, right, left, like that. That's it. One more time, it goes together, right, left, together, right, together, Right, left, right, left, right, left. That's it. All right, so back to back, all four parts of this lesson will be played like this. Etc. Okay, so you can keep repeating it and sing over this song. So pretty awesome piano, instrumental. Hope you enjoyed this. If you want to learn more Amy Winehouse or other instrumentals, just go ahead and search up your favorite song name followed by Amy Winehouse in the YouTube search, so you can find your other favorite songs to learn on my channel. But anyway, as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime and cartoon theme songs and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.